Welcome back to the video darkroom and in this video I'm going to show you how to use two monitors with Premiere Pro on an Apple Mac. If you've never used two monitors before I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how easy it is to set up and how useful it is in your editing workflow. If you're a PC user then please check out my other video that shows you how to set up two monitors with Premiere Pro on Windows. You might be using a laptop and have an external monitor set up as a second screen or alternatively you might have two monitors set up on your desk. Either way this video will show you how to configure these and make use of them with Premiere. Here are two ways to connect a second monitor to your Mac. So for this demo I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch which could definitely benefit from an external monitor and I'm also using this um, Lenovo um, M14 sorry for tapping the mic there M14 display which can be plugged in with a USB-C with no need for an external power supply. Take the M14 and set it beside your MacBook Pro plug it in with a USB-C cable and it will immediately operate as a secondary display. The only thing that you might need to change is the positioning. You may need to tell the system which side of the Mac the monitor is on by clicking on the control center icon on the top bar. Here you can reposition the monitors telling Mac OS which is on the right and which is on the left. The other method is to use a USB-C hub that has an output for HDMI. Plug the HDMI cable from your monitor into the hub and then connect the hub to your laptop. And after a few moments, it takes a few seconds for the Samsung monitor to realize there's an HDMI input, it will appear as a secondary desktop for you. Now we're in Premiere and to use the second monitor, then simply go to Premiere, then Settings, and choose Playback. In the Playback dialog, you'll see your two monitors. Simply check them both and click OK. And you'll see that a full screen display of your video appears on the second monitor. If I play the timeline, then you see that you get both the display on the program monitor panel on your main screen and you also get a full screen display on the other screen. This is a good way to do it if you like this to be a semi-permanent setup. You could remove the program monitor from the main display if you wish, as there's no need to have it twice. But there is another way that you might find useful if you only want to use this capability from time to time. I think it's a better way as it has a couple of other advantages. So let's first switch off the second monitor in the same way, go to playback and uncheck the two screens. Now we're back to having Premiere on only one monitor. The second monitor is just showing the desktop. The second way to make use of both your screens is simply to drag the program monitor panel from the main screen onto your other monitor. Just click and drag the title of the program monitor across onto your second screen. You can then drag it out to make it whatever size you want. You can make it pretty much full screen if that's what you want to do. As I play the timeline, you'll see that the program monitor is operating as normal, but on the second screen. This has the advantage that it's temporary. You can simply drag it across to your second screen and put it back when you don't need that feature anymore. But it also has the additional benefit that it frees up space on your main monitor which you may want to use for something else. For example here you get a much bigger view of the effects control panel. So those are two advantages of using this particular way of doing it. And when you finish with that you simply click on the title of the program monitor and drag it across to your main screen. Hold it to the right of the effects panel so that it goes back to its normal position and release the mouse. And you're 100% back to normal. It's just really easy to do, to drag it across, use it there, bring it back and put it back where it belongs in the first place. If you make any kind of mistake where you drop things back, 
and your workspace is a little bit out of control, simply go into whatever workspace you're using and choose Reset to Saved Layout and everything will be back to exactly how it was before. Ideally, you can save a dual monitor workspace and use this without having to drag the panel across and restore it each time. I hope you find this useful and if you enjoyed this short tutorial then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you get notified of new tutorials as they're uploaded. I'll be posting a new tutorial each week and I try to keep them as practical as possible so you'll build up your skills in Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere and After Effects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.